Hey Gertie, we have to make a video for Ivy Dragon Breath. Yes, that's what she said, Dragon Breath. She was asking about flea stuff and pest stuff and, and flies and fleas and whatever. Yeah, that's what I'm going to talk about. <clears throat> I bought this just recently. It was on a markdown shelf, which is where I always buy my stuff. It's called Echo Kid and uh, Outback Jack Aussie Outdoor Spray. And it contains, uh, okay, some, some bases, and then it's got a whole bunch of different oils, like uh, vanilla, sweet orange, grapefruit, patchouli, uh, swamp, paper, paper bark gum. It says melaleuca, so that's tea tree oil. Uh, Lemon-scented iron bark. Anyways, um, it's, it's all organic and it's made for kids. No petrochemicals, artificial fragrances, coloring, paba, deet, parabens, no irritation. Anyways, I, I decided to, uh, I found this in, in my stash, and I decided to, um, to try this out. I haven't yet. Uh, we've got a rainy, rainy day out there. Um, Hopefully, it will keep away pests. You know what, Gertie? If I spray this at, at you, will you disappear? See, it worked. Hey, it worked. It gets rid of pests. Ivy, it works. <laughs> um, uh, in regards to fleas, uh, my animals don't get fleas. The cats don't. Uh, the dogs don't. The only time I've ever had fleas on my animals was when I went away. I just want to move that carpet, Gertie. Uh, I went away for a, for a month, many, many years ago. Hi, Bumby. In, uh, in the summer, I think in the 1980s. And a neighbor was looking after my cats, and she, her cats had fleas. I really think that their immune system is compromised when you use the flea collars. Uh, one of the things, there are a couple of things that I do to boost my, my animals' immune systems, cats and dogs. Uh, I'll give them garlic pellets. With the dogs, I just give a lot of garlic in their food because I eat a lot. I'm, I just reek of garlic all the time. Uh, what else? Brewer's yeast. I give that to the dogs. The cats don't tend to like it, but sometimes I'll just shove, you know, in the season like this. You know, it's raining. You shove a, a tablet down their throat. The dogs will take the brewer's yeast powder. Uh, what else? If if I had an infestation of fleas, I would use diatomaceous earth, uh, which is ground up glass. It's very finely ground. It's safe for kids and for animals. Uh, rub it into their fur. And what it does is it gives minuscule cuts uh, across the fleas. Not the dogs, but or the cats, but the fleas. And it causes them to dehydrate and die. Uh, what else? I've I, I would also drown the fleas by, by giving the animals a bath, which I do. You know, maybe that's part of it as well, because I wash them uh, once a month, or I try. try my best to do it every month on, on the first of the month. Um, yeah, as far as a holistic vet, see, I'm really, really fortunate. I've, um, I'm a herbalist by trade and a homeopath, and so I've got a huge stash of natural remedies. And I've been really, really lucky with the fantastic vets that I have. Um, Dr. Morrison is Gertie's vet. He's the guy who's, uh, who's never charged us for, for anything. Um, he, uh, he just, he loves the fact that I've, I've done all of this for Gertie, you know, when nobody else would take her. Uh, and I had a wonderful vet in Ontario for 11 years. And uh, these, what, what is great about the vets that I've chosen is that I, they understand that I deal with holistic methods. My, my own doctor, my family doctor, is the same way. He, um, the vets will diagnose something and then they'll ask me, do you want the antibiotics or are you going to treat them with your herbs? And I always opt for herbs, unless it's an emergency. Uh, you know, there's, there's, there are times where you have to have complete allopathic intervention. But most of the time I just pay for diagnostic and uh, work through it myself. Uh, a lot of times I just self-diagnose, unless I'm panicked. I remember one time, Asalee's mom, I don't know why, but I just panicked. She got, she got an abscess uh, somewhere on her face, and 
I don't know, maybe I wasn't feeling well or whatever. And, and so I took her to the vet and the vet said, uh, well, it's an abscess, you know, we should do additional tests, you know, if you want. And I said, no, it's an abscess, I know what to do. And I came home, gave her silica. Um, after a day or so, it burst open and um, then gave her golden seal onto the wound. And uh, she, was, she was fine within a few days. So, you know, anytime anybody wants to ask me about, about holistic stuff for animals, I, I am more than welcome to talk about it, whatever, whatever is going on with, with your animal. It's, uh, it's something that we should do, you know, for good karma. Help those who cannot help themselves. And by the way, Gertie's thing on her eye is totally cleared up. Nature just took care of it. Anyways, Ivy, I hope that um, answers your questions. And yes, Gertie is just made for entertaining people. She gives me such joy, it's unbelievable. Especially these last two days. Not today, because it's cold and it's rainy. But those two days of sunshine were absolutely glorious. We're supposed to be getting a couple of heavy-duty storms over the next two days. So uh, when that happens, I shut off the computer. So this might be my last video for a while. Okay, say bye, Gertie.